one of the world's oldest deserts. Now the chosen location for one of Africa's newest energy ventures. A giant solar power plant, the biggest on the continent. Construction of the quarter of a billion dollar plant is about to begin. And when it's finished, late next year, it will be able to supply 26% of Namibia's power needs, stretching into South Africa as well. If we then put electricity from solar, and we are generating electricity with solar energy, where we are not, especially if it could uh, take care of some parts of those peaks, then we avoid buying the electricity at such high prices from outside the country. Many private companies in Namibia already run on solar power. Visitors to this lodge in the heart of the Namib Rand National Park can enjoy the beauty of the desert while leaving minimal impact on the environment. What we've done then is we invested in a solar hybrid plant um, which is sort of now giving us about 70% uh, of our energy. Um, we still run generators, but now we are down from 12 hours a day to 3 hours a day. The initial investment, though, can be daunting. And that's one reason solar power has been slow to take off in Africa. But the long-term benefits are big, too, for the environment and in economic terms. Orvidans is saving up to $50,000 a year on energy bills. With an average of 362 days of sunshine a year, it's safe to say that the sun is Namibia's biggest asset. And as the country begins to maximize on its solar potential, it's companies like Wolverdance that are setting a blueprint on how to strike the perfect balance between commerce and conservation. What now happens is that when they leave us and they saw our amazing power plant or solar hybrid plant, they will go to the next lodge and maybe say, you know, can we see, your, can we see your, your solar? And if the lodge hasn't got solar, if they are still running the generator, something happens. So what we actually do is setting an example. Others may follow, but I'm convinced others will have to follow. Namibia may have been slow off the mark with solar power, but it's picking up pace. It aims to set a shining example for the rest of Africa to follow. Maria Galang, CCTV, Namib Desert, Namibia.